the Met Gala always draws a glittering array of stars, and last night was no exception. That's right. Here to break down who ruled on the red carpet and who needs to go into fashion hiding <laughs> is our resident <laughs> style expert, Philip Block. Hey, Philip, so good to see you. I mean, all I can say is just because it's the costume gala does not mean you have to be in a costume. That's very wow. true. You're right about that. And we'll get to that. But let's talk yes. about Sarah Jessica Parker. I thought she was one of the best dressed girls of the night. Oscar de la Renta did right by her, in my opinion. What'd you think? She never lets us down. And that mm -hmm. hair was absolutely unbelievable. The mm -hmm. gown was impeccable. She was the chairwoman of the event. Oh. So this was her event, so to speak, her and Anna Winter. Mm -hmm. And she followed the theme. She mm -hmm. sure did. She I really, like the I, gloves. I like the accessories. All of it. Head that's to toe, Perfection. That's what Charles James was about. Charles James is who the event was in honor of. He was the first American couturier, and that's what it's supposed to be. All about the gowns and the gloves, the white tie type of thing, right? Exactly. White Pageantry. tie. It wasn't even black tie. It was white tie oh. for the men. So she tried to set the tone, and some didn't get it right. Mm. <laughs> okay, but what about Taylor Swift? She also wore Oscar de la Renta. Did she get it right? Did she it? got it right. Gorgeous. Okay. I think fitting. It was right in theme with the whole kind of couture feel mm -hmm. in the back. You know, sexy and simple in the front, party in the back. Yeah. Excellent, elegant. The hair was very chic. She is really growing into a full-fledged sure fashion icon. She really is. My my only complaint is the yeah. color. I wish it was just a little yeah. darker. It made mm. her look a little washed out, but Ooh. that's a minor complaint. Yeah, okay. compared, to <laughs> compared to some of the other things. I know we keep telegraphing it, but let's get through the good yes. people. Okay, yeah. Amy Adams, she also wore Oscar. Did this work for her? She brought it. This is perfection. Uh -huh. This is what the event was supposed to look like. Again, the same skin tone kind of thing. There were a few problems with skin tone. People aren't tan yet. Right. Let's oh, just give them that. That's true. Good okay. point. Everybody's a little pale still, and but this is sheer Hollywood elegance, mm -hmm. Charles James elegance. This is Vogue. That is Vogue. You're right about that. Uh, and she just always gets it right, too. All right. Okay. Next up, Emmy. Emmy, she was in this Carolina Herrera oh, yeah. gown. Emmy Rossum. What'd yes. you think? I think it was beautiful. You know, it was floral. It was the ball gown. The hair was a little severe. The lip a little dark. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a little pale. <laughs> <laughs> the theme. Right. But the gown, perfection. And look, it fits perfect and floral. Bright. Now, this wasn't a favorite for me. It was too florally. Too florally. Yeah. yeah. If Beyonce know. wore it, you'd like it, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Sarah Silverman. This was such a surprise. Wow. She's not known for her style. She's a comedian. But mm -hmm. look at her. My goodness. Perfection. She looks like an Avedon photograph, she doesn't sure she? She does. Pure, unadulterated glamour. Zach Posen. And she worked the runway. You know, mm. the red carpet was her runway. She kept the poses right. She didn't clown it up. No. Mm. And the hair it works on her. It that sure tight, is. elegant 50s kind of hair. I say uh, bravo. 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 Most improved. Most improved. Most improved. Yes. yes. Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> okay. You mentioned Beyonce earlier. Then yeah. she, she you mentioned Beyonce okay. earlier. <laughs> Several <Okay>. times. <laughs> <laughs> she had on Givenchy, but it was more of a goth look and not really keeping with the theme, though. Yeah. Did it still work or was it a, too much of a risk? Beyonce? I'm just trying to understand Beyonce. <laughs> Magnificent. She oh, just good. is. I, I, Wrong event. Wrong event. Wrong okay. event. Right. I'm a little tired of the bootyliciousness sticking out the back of the outfit. You know, the oh. butt was sticking out. But the netting on the hair, the lips, the makeup, the earring, all that perfection. I love the outfit, maybe at a different event. That's what I say. Right look, wrong event. Exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. Haley Steinfeld. I mean, she may be a baby, but this girl is serving really mm -hmm. major grown-up chic. She is. And she does I, the designer. She wears it well. The black and white was a big trend. I mean, look at look her. how elegant. And it and was modern. And that's Garung. And she's just serving fashion. She's only a teenager. And this is modern. This is Charles... James brought to 2014. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what this event should be about. You have Sarah Jessica giving you exactly what it was, yes. Sarah Silverman giving what it was in the old days, mm -hmm. and then you have Haley kind of bringing it modern full circle. I Very stately. It. I like that. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so Katie Couric, she oh. had on an Angel Sanchez. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm saying. When Katie Couric, God bless her, is in my best dress list, there's something to worry about. <laughs> she looks amazing. Angel uh -huh. Sanchez, incredible. The white gloves. Mm -hmm. Look how elegant the makeup, the she hair. Does. It's almost glowing. Yes, glowing, flawless. Yeah. She's getting some, I bet. Well, she's oh. getting married later uh, this year. So there you go. go. There you go. She's something to do with it. Some. I love it. <laughs> Carolina Kirkova. Oh. Is she getting some in this Marquesa gown? Uh, stunning. <laughs> stunning. Yay the, or nay? The models are the ones that brought it. I All think you're the right. models really just stepped it up and really brought it full force. Look at this gown from Marquesa. That is wow. what this is about. This you is know, one that's, of your favorites. Yes, right? my favorite. I found that Absolutely. it was hand painted. Oh, Can painting. you believe that? Look at that detail. And it has this little Japanese influence with the hand painted flowers that kind of orm 
like origami folding yes. in the dress. This is couture. This is the costume institute. Definitely mm. a best dress. All right, Dita okay. Von Teese. Excellent, yeah. excellent, excellent. Oh my <laughs> God, I, I just, I, I live for this really dress. Feel. Yeah, it's uh, just, and look at the red at the bottom. Yes. They dip the bottom in oh. red. This is perfection. Look at that body. This woman knows how to work it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. It looked like it was sewn on her body. Right. Perfection. Perfection. And we talked about satin dresses not having that effect. This was perfect the way it was. And Beautiful. every little detail Beautiful. and that red at the bottom was flawless. And the skin tone. Yes. This is where the skin tone works. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay, All right, we let's have talk to about transition with this one with someone who's normally the best dressed oh. on the red carpet, but Philip, Lupita, and Yango and Prada. Okay. What the beep happened? I need to show this. Oh, are you this a is what the theme is. This is Charles James. Yes. This is who we are honoring. Right. This is what you're supposed to do. Right. Living Lapita Loca was crazy. Oh, no. I mean, what was she doing in that dress? Just because Prada gives you a contract does not mean you have to wear crazy clothes. Oh. This Can is you, like Montezuma's Revenge. But is there any explanation to No. It, Bad. I, like wrong. I'm trying to figure it out and give it the benefit of the doubt, but And I, the headband is just wrong. It was Cartier, which is exquisite. This dress was all wrong. What what is this an Aztec Indian exhibit? Oh. No. Okay. It's Charles James. I'm very mad if you can't tell. I, yeah. Lapita, you let me down. <gasps> but we still love I'm you. I'm watching you. She'll get it right on the next one. Don't she worry. Better. She's allowed to get one out of the 100 she's had this past Says who? year. Says oh, who? Okay, maybe not. There are no mistakes in fashion. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> you heard it here first, exactly. people. Exactly. Kate Upton and Dolce and Gabbana. I mean, Mama they, they mia. need to be put in jail Mama for mia. this look. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. <laughs> <laughs> now what is that? A, a, a this, ye old okay, body this, wench. <laughs> oh yes. It looks like she was doing it on wench. purpose. So that she was, because that's why she showed up on the red carpet <laughs> looking like this. Way. She heard Costume Institute went to a costume shop and got the May West costume. Wow. And you know what? I wish I could say that this was the worst dress of the evening, but it th this is just the beginning. Oh, and the hair and the necklace. What's that necklace doing with that I dress? Get it. And she has an incredible body. She's known for her incredible body. What, she looks so like two incredible bodies in that dress. Oh. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, okay. Lena Dunham in yes. Gian Battista Valley. Oh, I love the dress. No. Wrong girl. Wrong girl. But would this dress have even been appropriate there for someone else, though? Absolutely. Really? On someone young, on someone cute, with someone with good legs, someone oh, with oh. a tan, someone with, I mean, she's so pale. The legs are not great. I'm not trying to pick on her. I'm just simply stating from a fashion point of view, wrong dress on the wrong person. Right dress for the event on someone young, cool. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. With cute you. legs. Well, yeah. Another young and cool person that got it wrong, Michelle Williams. Little undressed for you? Undressed, what is she doing? Maybe under it. What is she doing? Little bit? Where, what is, she going? where is she going? Yeah, where is she going? Uh, not, uh, clearly to not to the Met Gala. <laughs> you are a grown woman. Church. Could she yeah. dress like an adult? Yeah, oh. I don't get this. This is at like all. a little girl dress. She's constantly trying to dress like a little girl. It's almost like, sh it's almost disrespectful in a way. Mm. You yes. understand the significance of this occasion. You know how big a deal this event is. You know how important it is. And the style and fashion world, and you show up like this, like you don't wow. care? Her of all people, she knows better. She does. I know Michelle Williams, I know you know better than this. Mm. So mm -hmm. I'm watching you too. All right. all right, Rihanna, Stella McCartney. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, she doesn't know better, but okay. she's giving you Rihanna. It's yeah. just, you don't always have to be Rihanna. Imagine if she came in like one of these Charles James couture gowns. Wouldn't that have been a great surprise? She would have shut it down. And yeah. shut it down. Well, I know she had to show a little skin, though. Crop tops were uh, kind of inland. The though, trend you know? is totally in, uh -huh. just not for this event. It's yeah. not what we're giving here, and you don't have to have the padded shoulder all the time. And the hair, I kind of felt, was a little dated. I thought so, too. Mm. A little too, too rock and roll for this yeah. occasion. Oh, yeah, okay. we're not at the Grammys. Katie oh. Holmes. She was the belle of the ball. Oh, my God. Literally. From oh, Beauty my and the God. Beast, right? Uh, Tom Cruise <laughs> was saying, thank God I'm not with her anymore. Oh, uh, I it. mean, I, I just, it, she looks like Scarlett O'Hare had a fight with a daffodil garden. Oh, I mean, this is just <laughs> brutal. It doesn't make you want to sing Beauty and the Beast. Be I, I, Belle called, and she doesn't want that dress back. Oh, she doesn't want She does back. not want that dress back. It, it, I, and the hair, the hair again was just completely wrong. Yeah. It's just wrong, 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 wrong. And that's a beautiful dress. Let's not 
understand that that is a pretty dress. Really? It just isn't working there. The color's pretty. It would usually work on a red carpet. I think all that stuff at the boobs and the way it kind of looks like it's slipping off. Right. Yeah. You see, it doesn't it's look like it's falling, falling down. down. Yes. Yeah. And the hair is wrong, and yeah. it's just wrong. It's undone. That's yeah. <laughs> I need you to explain this next There's look no to me because I, I oh my God. cannot understand how this was even created, let alone actually worn by someone. Sandra Lee's white confection. What was that? Uh, 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 what uh, uh, is this? Uh, 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 what is in her hips? Like, there's I pillows shoved in there. No. I hope Anna Winter is sitting in her office writing people letters. Please do not come to my ball dressed like this Ooh. next year. I mean, you are no longer welcome. I mean, this is ridiculous. Wow. Absolutely ridiculous. It's just so over the top. Oh. It's so kitsch. It's like a cake she baked. <laughs> Oh. In like five minutes, does she do that like easy cooking stuff? I mean, <laughs> ugh. And it fell. It looks like it's yeah, sagging and lumpy fell. and fell. Like, I, uh, but I'm going to give her nothing. Don't nothing. even try. No, no. no I can't even say it. it. it is Erica Badu. To, oh. Erica Badu and Givenchy. So chic, so elegant, so okay. wrong event. Oh, oh really? Yeah. And she's dueling that. battles with the hats with Pharrell, of course. I had to go there. <laughs> she has home. gold teeth in. No. Uh, I mean, she's got gold teeth up in there. She's all over Instagram. She's like picking at her gold teeth oh, with her. No. I mean, the coat chic. The hat chic. Yeah. I, I would go with her anywhere in that outfit except here. Okay, okay. I agree. Oh, All right. Janelle Monae. And Tadashi Soji. Uh, 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 Matador uh, chic or Matador just a chic no? or uh, hiking in the Himalayas? Not it, for it, you. It's just not for me. And, and again, uh, do we do we have anything that's not so covered up all the time? Like, what yeah, is she hiding? Just show an arm. Yeah, just mm -hmm. show, show an arm. Show a little cleavage. A little show a little neck. neck. Yeah, I got a you. A little neck. Kate Mara and Valentino, another person who was really covered up. Young girl, great body. What was that? I don't get it. Uh, yeah, okay. A little throw up. I mean, okay. like a little. Uh, yeah. So okay. is it just the color wrong? Oh, color oh, wrong again, not fitting well. It looks like it's falling off yeah. her. It's okay. a little drab. It's, it's a little aging. dismal. It's aging it's, in the hair. It's very and I love Kate. Yeah. Kate is a fashion girl. Yeah. She's great. She usually dresses so great. Yeah. I, right. And her sister Rooney always gets it right also. I always right. Um, all, all right. right. So couples. let's move to the couples. Yes. Oh, the couples. Charlize Theron and Sean Penn. Yes. They shut it down. Shut it I thought down. they were stunning. Woo. What'd you think? She's a good influence mm -hmm. on him. Yeah. Like, look at him looking all elegant. And I love Stand a tall, up. sexy woman with a strong yeah. man. Look at it. And that dress is just black and white. It, it just right in the theme. Dior, as Beautiful. always, they made a good investment with mm -hmm. her. Okay. <laughs> well, one of the big couples of the night that everyone was looking out for was Kim and Kanye. Did she redeem herself from last year? Please. <laughs> Kanye looks amazing. Oh! <laughs> and I don't say that often. Kanye looks great. But can we talk about something? I'm going to gossip a minute. Okay. Look at that body language. What does that say to you? I don't know. Maybe That's just, saying I'm stepping back a, a little. I'm a little tired of her, and no. maybe she, she, I, I'm not feeling the love in that picture. I've seen the other pictures though; they looked really happy. more lovey-dovey. Okay, yeah. I just want to because I saw that picture a couple times, and I was like, mm. "And what's going on up here with her? Like, you have a beautiful body. Yeah. Again, put on one of these kind of couture gowns. Do something different. The leg, trying to show the leg. Angelina did it better. Like, mm. stop that. Okay. And and <laughs> all bubbly at the breast. Not not right. Not right. Not right. Yeah. Not right. Better yeah. than last year though. Well, there we go. Okay. There was no place else to go. But I, <laughs> that, no, that flower dress it was, was atrocious. Yes. Okay. Very. Well, Car Carmelo Anthony and Lala Anthony. All right, this man is the king of New York, and you are the first lady. They look like they are going to the pimp and hose ball. <laughs> oh. I mean, seriously. But he had his top hat on. He yeah. Was he was trying to stay in theme. I mean, again, if he wasn't with her, he looks like he picked, picked her up in, in Washington Heights, and they took one of them green cabs downtown. Not I mean, seriously. Cabs. And I go up to Washington Heights all the time. What is she wearing? Did Someone sent her the memo. Excuse me. Look at that picture, <laughs> Lala. Get it right. Oh. Read the invitation. Okay. okay. Appropriate. Yeah. All right. Neil Patrick Harris and his hubby. Now, they pushed the style. Oh. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, they pushed the style envelope. Did they push it too far? The Mad Hatter You look. can't even see the bottom of those pants where they're like three inches above that. Like, this is a, not a look for grown men. I, and mm. Michael Jackson wants his pajamas back. Oh. His family wants to put him in an archive with the, oh, with the no. boyfriend. Oh, I mean, Phillip. this is just terrible. And they're not Doesn't wearing that socks look, either, right? I, I just, uh, <laughs> I, I mean, you're seeing ankle. I mean, come yeah. on now. I, I, I mean, uh, okay, last they're question. They're gays. They should have better taste than this. Oh, all right. Okay. Well, last question. Let's end on a positive note. Okay. Best dress of the yes, evening. Your please. pick. Oh my gosh, you know, Rita Ora looked pretty amazing. She looked pretty amazing, but I'm gonna go with Sarah Jessica. I'm I, gonna okay. go with Sarah I Jessica. I'm gonna give to Sarah Jessica too. You know who I like to? Kendall Jenner. Oh yeah. Oh, Kendall Jenner in a top, top shop dress. Who in knew? Top shop. Yeah. When Kendall Jenner in a top shop dress is in my in my list too, you gotta worry. Mm. But right. Sarah Jessica, 
You're my girl. Two thumbs okay. up. Okay. All Sounds right. Sounds like a plan. SJP. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Philip. As always, we appreciate You're awesome. it. My <laughs> pleasure. <laughs> and now we want to know who you thought was best dressed at the Met Gala. Tweet us about it at Arise TV 360.